Hey what is up, mortals, it is. Robo Celestial here with a new video for you. Welcome to What If Deku Had Perfect Combo Part 5. I just wanted to greet you guys by just saying. Sit back and relax, you're in for a treat. The next day, we join All Might as he's on his way to UA in a slight rush. When he suddenly hears about a villain causing trouble and starts to take a detour to deal with it. However, as All Might is heading towards where the villain is, he remembers TH Type Hiri conversation he had with Principal Nezu a few days ago and the promise he made to put his duties as a teacher first, causing All Might to stop for a short second as he thought about what to do. Though he doesn't like it, All Might decides to ignore the incident and head on to UA. Actually getting there on time while still being able to go into his buff form, so he can teach a few classes. Over with class 1 is shortly after the bell rings. Mr. Aizawa announces that they'll be performing rescue exercises for today's lesson, also mentioning that they will be going to an off-campus facility for it, which makes all the students even more hyped for the training. Once Aizawa finishes warning the class about using their costumes and the issues they could have during the training, everyone immediately ignores him as they all grab their hero outfits and leave for the locker rooms to change, some time later outside at the bus. As all the students are standing around talking to one another when Izuku, who is the class rep, informs them that the bus is ready to leave, politely asking everyone to step on so they can head out. And once the class and Aizawa are on the bus they leave UA with no problems. During the drive over to the off-campus facility everybody starts a discussion about their quirks to some degree in order to pass the time sharing some ways that their abilities work, though most of the conversation is based around who has the best quirks in the class, which naturally leads everyone to talk about Todoroki and Bakugu, complimenting how awesome their quirks are. Not long after that, Izuku becomes the main focus, with everyone throwing multiple compliments at him about how incredibly unique and great his quirk is, even with some going as far as to say he has the best power, but in response Izuku just looks down, uncomfortably replying, a thanks but it's not that great it's just a combination of my parents' quirks before Ryu can continue his classmates interrupt him. Surprised to hear that his power is a combination of his parents' quirks. This even intrigues Todoroki who starts paying a little more attention. As everyone starts saying how it's unbelievable and cool that his quirk is simply a combination of his parents. With Izuku eventually being able to continue on. Saying. Yeah, I mean there is a little mutation with it but otherwise I guess you can say it's a perfect combination. But it has a lot of limits, more than most there have always been issues. I honestly think there's a lot of other quirks out there that are far more impressive and better than mine. This comment confuses the class causing many to ponder what he means as Kirishima calmly responds. Asking, what are you serious? Do you hear yourself right now? Even with a lot of limitations or weaknesses or whatever. Your quirk is still amazing and super flashy. You'll definitely be a big pro with it. I mean I can't even understand why you'd feel like your power isn't as great as it really is. This throws Izuku off as he looks at his hand, struggling to think of what to say. When Mr. Aizawa turns around, telling the class to quiet down because they're arriving at the facility now and need to get off. Abruptly ending the conversation as everyone starts heading off the bus. When the class steps off of the bus they are greeted by Pro Hero 13 and All Might as they stand in front of the facility. Most of the students, especially Izuku and Yuraka, are thrilled to meet 13 while also being excited that All Might is here as well. 13 along with Tashinori and Aizawa lead class 1 into the facility where everyone is left in awe by the inside. As 13 begins to explain and introduce everybody to the Unforeseen Simulation Joint or USJ for short, after her explanation, 13 then starts to give a short speech where she mentions her quirk, saying, Now before we begin I have something important to say. As I'm sure you're all aware my quirk is a very powerful one called Black Hole and though I've been able to use it to save many lives, it can very easily be used to kill just like all of your powers can if you use them improperly hearing this moves the student's attention to 13. Taking in what she just said. When All Might jumps in, continuing the speech. That's correct. Listen well young heroes in training. Even if it's to do something courageous like saving someone, your quirks can cause incredible harm to others if you're not careful and that is why we've brought you here today so you can learn how to save people's lives, as All Might finishes. Aizawa steps forward and continues the speech as well, stating, Luckily you've already learned a few things to help. My quirk assessment test gave you an idea of where your powers are and an understanding of how to use them in more creative ways, while All Might's combat training taught you how they affect people, so now you need to take all of that and put it towards using your quirks to save lives. 
Not hurt or harm because this is something a pro needs to know how to do if they truly want to be worthy of that title. With that 13 remarks that today will be a grueling exercise for them to learn the most important thing a hero has to be able to do and asks if they're ready. To which the whole of class want to nod their heads saying that they are. As they begin to applaud 13. Aizawa and All Might for the great speech, getting more excited for the training. Now that everything has been explained, Tashinori gestures for everyone to follow him and the other teachers. Beginning to talk about how the exercise will work. But only after a few steps the lights flicker a couple of times as the power shuts off. When this happens a strange shadowy portal starts growing in the middle of the USJ. Quickly being noticed by the three pros and group of students, who are all standing there utterly lost about what's going on. Right then the portal grows very large. Allowing a man covered in fake hands to walk out of it, with an army of villains and a massive creature following close behind. Unnerving all the students as many start nervously asking if this was a part of the training. A few students attempt to get a better look by moving closer to the stairs but are stopped by All Might, who puts his hand out, exclaiming, No don't get any closer. This is unfortunately anything but a training exercise. Those are real villains and they're clearly here for a fight. In reaction the curious students step away with looks of disbelief, much like what their fellow classmates. As Eraserhead quickly puts on his goggles, harshly barking at the class. Relax we got this but just to be safe Kaminari use your quirk to call up the campus and inform them of what's going on here. Kaminari does as Aizawa says. Trying to contact the school. But for some unknown reason is unable to get through, which Eraserhead replies to. Saying. Figures. They must have someone who can jam our communications. It's clear they've chose this moment to attack and planned it out accordingly. Meaning these punks aren't just doing this at random. 13 evacuate the students and get the campus for help when you can. Me and our symbol of peace will handle this thrash until backup arrives. 13 immediately gathers up the class. Taking them towards the exit as Izuku turns back to All Might and Mr. Aizawa wishing them good luck. To which Eraserhead replies. Giving a confident smirk. Kid, you can't be a pro by relying on luck alone, but thanks anyway. Aizawa then runs and jumps off of the stairs. Rushing fast towards the villains as they get ready to use their quirks to deal a swift end to the pro. But in a near instant All Might appears in front of the horde of villains. Delivering a powerful smash that sends a large number of them flying. While also knocking out quite a bit of them in the process. Aizawa then leaps over All Might. Erasing multiple of the villains quirks. As he begins to cut away at the criminal ranks with ease. And since Toshinori is lending a hand. Nearly half of the villains in the central plaza have already been taken out. As the fight goes on Izuku gets mesmerized by the intense battle happening right in front of him. Getting somewhat left behind by his class but once he regains his senses he sprints after 13 and everyone else. However by the time he catches up he's left in the very back as a dark mist forms in front of the gate blocking anyone from escaping. When a voice rings out from the mist. Hello, it is a pleasure to meet you all. We are the League of Villains. I apologize for so rudely barging in like this and inviting ourselves into this haven of justice but we just had to come here so we could bring an end to the life of All Might. After all doesn't this seem like a fitting place for the symbol of peace to take his last breath? Everyone is confused and concerned by this statement. Wondering if the villains are insane for wanting to fight All Might. As the warp villain continues monologuing, I am overjoyed that All Might is here like our intel said. Today the world will learn to fear us as will all of you or at least the few of you that survive. It's a shame you must die to simply send a message. There is no way for you to have foreseen something like this happening, but I digress this is after all. My role to play. The mist villain then attempts to launch an attack with 13 readying to counter with her quirk but Bakugu and Kirishima both interfere by jumping in and attacking. This causes a large explosion but after the smoke clears it reveals that the villain is unharmed shocking everyone. While 13 demands the students to move out of the way, the mist villain says, You're quite annoying. I'll make this easier on myself by scattering you all throughout this facility to meet my comrades and your deaths. Saying this, the warping villain then activates his quirk, surrounding about half of the class in a dome of dark mist, sending them all through portals that scatter them across the USJ, only leaving 13. Yuraka, Ida, Shoji. Sadu, Siro, Ashido, and Izuku by the exit to face the warp villain, as what remains of the class. Along with 13 stagger from what just happened, they get ready to force their way past the villain as Ryu looks back towards the central plaza and sees that most of the criminals had been knocked out. With only two left standing against All Might and Mr. Aizawa, down at the plaza as Tashinori and Aizawa approach the two remaining villains. 
ordering them to surrender. The strange man who's wearing a hand mask steps forward, sarcastically preaching to them. Also the symbol of peace and his lackey have taken out my little army. Bravo how impressive. You really think they were meant for anything other than to be cannon fodder taking care of them as child's play. I'm not scared of you. In fact you're the ones who should be begging for mercy right now. The man stops talking and looks to the massive creature standing behind him. Then looks back at the two heroes in front of him with a deranged smile and look that can even be seen through his mask as he finishes his sentence. Isn't that right Namu? Let's make them suffer time to play. The man then snaps his fingers, signaling the beast to attack, which it does by suddenly appearing in front of All Might and Eraserhead, catching them off guard as it deals a powerful punch to the two heroes. Though Toshinori was fast enough to block the surprise attack and able to keep himself from being sent back by much, Aizawa wasn't nearly as luck, taking the full force of the hit, breaking multiple ribs, while being sent flying into a wall where upon impact his back is shattered along with the wall. All Might looks at the wall seeing his comrade knocked out cold and severely injured, making him realize that he'll have to get serious about this before charging forward at unseeable speeds with the creature doing the same as they commence a ground-shaking fight. As the fight continues All Might and Namu are trading blows at almost the same speed but it doesn't last long after a wild punch hit Toshinori's wound, causing him to cough up blood while staggering back, allowing the creature to gain the upper hand as it proceeds to beat down harder on the number one hero. With this All Might speed begins to slowly drop as he takes more and more damage which makes it so he was getting hit more often, effectively creating a vicious cycle that was making him lose more energy by the millisecond. Seeing his idol being pushed back like this sends chills down Ryu's spine. Watching something he thought was impossible, a feeling of fear, combined with an unwavering urge to step in both fought in his head, forcing his mind to race as he debated whether or not to intervene, being incapable of making a decision. That is until Beast throws a left hook hitting All Might square on his injury once again, resulting in him sliding into a wall as he fell to his knees while coughing up more blood. This is what pushes Izuku to bolt down the stairs to save the person he looked up to the most, as Ryu moves to join the fight. The creature along with its master lumber over to All Might, standing over him while the odd man goes about bragging to the wounded pro about his monstrosity. Well, well, well look at what we got here. It appears the almighty symbol of peace is beaten, bruised, and utterly helpless against my wonderful pet. The man then crouches down to look at All Might's face, pointing to himself saying, I suppose I should introduce ourselves so you know who put you down like the mongrel you are. I'm Shigaraki the leader of the League of Villains in this great creation. Gesturing to the creature as he says its name is Namo and he's our anti-symbol of peace created specifically to crush trash just like you. That's actually the reason why we're here. We've gone through a lot of trouble to deal with you, especially since it's what my master wants and while I could let Namu do it, I've ordered it not to. I'd much rather turn you to dust with my bare hands. Shigaraki puts out his hand, reaching out to touch and kill All Might as he says. This is it All Might time for you too. But before Tamura could do anything, he's suddenly hit by a barrage of small green flames, burning his hand along with other parts of his upper body, triggering Namu to stand in front of Shigaraki to shield him from the flames which burns the monster slightly in doing so. Right after this, with an abundance of green flaming orbs surrounding him, Ryu places himself between the villains and All Might, giving a menacing glare as he prepared to fight. In response Shigaraki furiously yells out at Izuku, Who the hell do you think you are brat? How dare you attack me right as I was about to end All Might? I'll be sure to make you pay for daring to interfere. With a cold look Izuku replies, You can call me Ryu. And I won't let you hurt anyone else. You can say you'll make me pay but I'm not scared of you. A hero never backs down so I won't either. I'll stand and fight you along with any of your other cronies too. This response irritates Shigaraki a lot and as he's about to order his beast to attack Izuku. All Might uses two smashes to unleash powerful air pressure waves, which knock Tamura away by quite a bit and forces Namu back a few feet though it doesn't retaliate due to Shigaraki's previous orders. With a brief opportunity, All Might struggles to his feet and readies himself to charge back in when Ryu mentions that they need to be careful but All Might replies, scolding his student, There is no we there's only me so leave. It's not your responsibility to fight these villains it's mine and I refuse to let you step into danger like this. Now get to safety I can handle it from here. Ryu looks up at All Might with a determined grin and sternly says, No All Might it is my responsibility. I want to be a hero who can save people with a smile on my face no matter what. And what kind of hero could I be if I just stood by and did nothing? Plus I couldn't just stand there and watch you die all might you're my role model. 
And don't worry about me, I don't need protection. Once he says this, Izuku breathes out large plumes of green flames while also setting his bag aflame to add more to his fire that is already circling around him, giving off an emerald glow. Shigaraki is left stunned by the sight of such a powerful quirk along with All Might who is not only amazed by Izuku's power, but also by his determination and inspirational words, which cause Tashinori to reluctantly remark, All right then, if you want to fight then be sure you do as I say when I say it. And just make sure Shigaraki doesn't get close to me or you and when you see any openings on that creature, take some pachat to whittle it down but above all else. Stay out of harm and run if things go bad, is that understood? Midoriya nods his head, agreeing to do as his teacher says, satisfying All Might enough to allow Izuku to help. When Shigaraki stands back up, he glares at Ryu and All Might as the two stand ready to fight, causing the deranged man to whisper to himself about how they'll pay for this as he snaps his fingers to signal the Namu to attack, which it immediately does charging at All Might. Starting the fight once more but this time with Izuku right in the middle, fighting alongside the symbol of peace and lending support as best as he can in order to defeat the treacherous villains. Standing before him now, thank you all for sticking around and I hope that you enjoyed. Before you leave we would just like to let you know that We the Celestials has many other channels for your entertainment and viewing purposes. All the information you'll need is right below here in the description. So feel free to check out all the other incredible projects our team creates. Secondly, on behalf of We the Celestials, I'd like to thank everyone involved in the production of today's awesome content. Their details will be in the description below. That's all for today's video. So goodbye and have a divine day.